Let's look at the different forms of condensation. Frost, dew, fog, mist and clouds. Now these forms can be classified into three categories. On the ground, above the ground and atmospheric level. Shall we take a look at these in detail? Alright, examples of the first category on the ground are dew and frost. Now you might have noticed these water droplets on leaves early in the morning, right? But how are these water droplets formed? Let me tell you. When the temperature is low, the water vapour in the atmosphere condenses around cool objects like leaves, grass and metal objects forming water droplets called dew. Dew is not seen on a cloudy day. Can you guess why? It's like this. During daytime, the sun heats the surface. Later, during night time, land releases this heat and cools down. But on a cloudy day, this heat gets trapped by clouds, preventing condensation of water vapour, because of which dew does not form. Let's see another form of condensation on the ground level. Now this is frost. Do you know how it is formed? If weather leading to the formation of dew becomes colder, dew freezes into ice becoming frost. Alright, let's move to the next category, above the ground level and see the forms of condensation there. Don't these pictures look like clouds in the atmosphere have come near the ground? When water vapour in the air condenses and accumulates around a dust particle near the ground, fog is formed. You might have seen such sights in cities, right? In industrial and urban areas, the smoke from vehicles and factories mix with fog, creating smog which is short for smoky fog. What you see is mist, which is formed when water droplets are suspended in the air just above the ground. Now this is similar to fog, with the difference that mist contains a higher concentration of water droplets. Now what happens when condensation happens at the atmospheric level? That's right, it forms clouds and this brings us to the third category. Let's see in detail how clouds are formed. Warm moist air near the earth's surface rises up because hot air rises up. But with increasing height, temperature decreases resulting in cooling of the warm moist air. Now what happens when the moist air cools down? The water molecules condense, resulting in the creation of tiny water droplets which form clouds. These water droplets accumulate around dust particles, creating the big clouds that you see. Dust particles in the atmosphere help in the formation of both fog and clouds. What happens when this water accumulation grows beyond a certain point? Well, it precipitates as small water droplets which we call rain. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.